Hello and welcome to this week 30 minutes restaurant marketing. This week I'll go through how to write a restaurant press release. I don't know where you live, but here in Macau there is plenty of competition in the restaurant business. In a relatively small city with around 600,000 inhabitants, it looks like it opens a new restaurant every day. That is why restaurant marketing is so important and press releases are a great tool especially when you are opening a new restaurant. So let's learn how to write a press release for your restaurant. At the top of your press release should come your restaurant logo and business address. And then press release written below in bold capital letters. Below comes the title. This is going to be the first part read by the receiver. You must make sure that this title will create a desire to read your press release. In case it is an opening, you should include in your title that is an opening, type of restaurant you are going to open and what differentiates it from all the other restaurants in town. An example would be Grand opening tomorrow, the Bullfighter Spanish restaurant by the awarded Spanish chef Ambrosio. Below the title should come the date you will send it to the press. The first paragraph it is very important as many times it is the only part read. In case it is a restaurant opening, you should mention that it is a new restaurant, its opening date, what kind of food you will serve, its location, and what makes it different from all the other restaurants concepts around. If you have created a nice website for your restaurant, I suggest you to also add a link to it so the reader can easily get more info or see some pictures of your restaurant. An example would be The Bullfighter is a new Spanish restaurant in Macau that will open tomorrow. It offers more than 200 different tapas in its menu, all developed by the multi-awarded Chef Ambrosio. You can find more details about it on www.bullfighter.com. At the second paragraph, you should emphasize your restaurant's strengths. If you need help in defining your restaurant's strengths, you should watch my video on week 10. I will leave a link below. If your strength is your chef experience, this is the place to talk about it. If your strength is the pricing, you must emphasize it here, etc. The third paragraph most of the times is not necessary. But if you believe you need to talk a little bit more about your unique restaurant qualities like uh, signature dishes or the customer experience you offer, this is the place. You need to make sure that all the most important information for the journalist or food blogger and your target market is at the first paragraph. The second paragraph is the second most relevant information and so on. At the end of the press release, make sure you type the word ends and below that the notes to the editor. Here you should write a very short description about the company who manages the restaurant and one contact in case the journalist wants to contact you for more information. After finishing writing your press release, you will need to research and list out all the journalists and food bloggers with who you want to share your press release. Journalists have a lot of stuff to read every day, so only send the press release to people who may be interested in your story and not to everyone. So if you are a small restaurant in Macau, please don't send it to Fox Sports. Instead, focus on local newspapers and food bloggers that write about the Macau dining scene then you need to decide how to reach them. I would suggest email because it's easier, cheaper and achieves results if you have an interesting press release. If you send the press release by email, I suggest you to send it as an attachment and write a different personal message to every contact you send it out. Thank you for watching, hope it helps and if you want me to keep creating restaurant marketing videos Please support by liking, commenting or sharing below. Thanks and cheers.